What's going on this morning, family? This is my first well gauge. I got this from a company in Arkansas called Dixie Southern. Yeah, you see the name, Dixie Southern. I should have been working for their ass anyway. <laughs> anyway, the company ended up going out of business. But I still have this from when I worked there. And a lot of the wells had to be gauged. So as you see on a majority scale, it was a quarter, three sixteenths, five sixteenths, and three eighths. Those was the normal um, heights of the wells when you're welding them in. And we did a lot of structure. Oh, not one structure was tanks. So normally it was flux core welding. It was a bead or two beads, a slow down, run one thick bead. You know, it just depends on what the process was. But I learned a lot about the process and about to keep things in a range by using a gauge and then i learned them on using a few jobs in little rock but i don't have that gauge but this one right here means something to me because this company man i ain't gonna lie to you you know how you have those supervisors that's that's always on your row i swear the white guy that worked in here i was the only black guy there dude used to go out of his way just to come by there and say something and one day y'all know me I lost my cool on his ass. <laughs> I let him have it, man. I got tired of this fucking white dude coming around just picking with me, just picking with me. And one day he picked the fucking scab off and I wigged out on his ass, scared the shit out of him, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to him. But it was his fault. I wasn't fucked up about quitting, which I did. I told him they can have it so they didn't fire me. You know, I just wigged out and said, hey, man, I'm tired of this shit, man. You can have this shit. You go there and kiss their ass. Go over there because he don't never go over there and, um, mess with the white dudes or the spanish guy that's been in with them forever but then i found out what they was paying them too you know what i'm saying so the game is something else man so that's why i stress on being independent because this was the last company in arkansas that made me jump into my independence like really made me say you know what i got to find a better way surely it's something i can do but outside of going here kissing their ass and then getting uh, crucified every day you know what i mean like this company was something else man and i think that as we grow we face companies like that you know and i think companies like that brings the independence out it makes you think outside the box and say hey you know what i got to do something better and since then i've been on something better but i had to start from here so you know now i'm building my independence getting things lined out I'm about to start doing some major things but I had to start from there. I had to start from there. You got to start from somewhere in order to get there. Hold on.